cutting, copying and pasting data are tasks you're going to perform day in, day out. So in this video, I'm going to show you the various ways to cut, copy and paste cells. Plus, I've included some little known shortcuts. There are lots of entry points for cutting, copying and pasting data that I'll cover here. There's no best way, it's completely up to you which method you choose to use. Let's say we want to cut out the list of products. I'll select them with my mouse, just left click and drag. Or you can use your keyboard shortcuts, control, shift and down arrow to select the data. Now to cut them, I can either use the keyboard shortcut control X, or I can right click and select cut. Or on the home tab of the ribbon, I can click on the scissor icon. Once I've cut my cells, you can see they're selected and we've got the marching ants around the outline to show that they've been cut. All I need to do is select the cell I want to paste them in, just the first cell, I don't need to select the range. And then I can use the keyboard shortcut Control V. I can right click and choose paste. It gives me a preview. Or I can go up to the home tab and click the paste icon. You can see it's removed the data from column C and now it's in column G and the formatting has come across as well. If there were formulas in these cells, then they would also be brought across. Now copying is similar. So let's say we want to copy this list of products. I can use the keyboard shortcut, control C. I can right click and choose copy or on the home tab of the ribbon, I can click on the copy icon. Again, we have the marching ants to indicate they're copied. I select the cell I want to paste them in. The very first cell is enough and I can control V to paste. I can right click and choose paste and I can choose the different paste options. We'll cover them in more detail in a moment. Or I can go up to the home tab of the ribbon and click paste. And lastly, I can press enter. Now if I paste using control V or right click and paste or paste up here on the home tab, let's do that. You can see the marching ants are still highlighted around my data. That means I can paste it again and again and again. If I want to stop the marching ants, then I can paste it by pressing enter or let's copy it again. I can press the escape key to remove the marching ants. So just keep that in mind. If you've copied data to your clipboard and you don't press enter to paste it, then it's still actively copied. And the next time you press enter, it will get pasted. So just keep that in mind because it can be messy. If you try to insert a column or a row, you'll end up pasting lots of data. Now, when we copy cells, we can choose which elements of the cell get pasted. So let me copy this again. Actually, what I'll do is let's clear that and we'll copy this again. And we'll go to an empty cell and we're going to look at our paste special options. For example, if I wanted to copy this product list and not apply any formatting, then I can click on the down arrow for paste. And there's icons up here, hovering over them gives me a tooltip, tells me what type of paste I'm about to do. And it also gives me a preview in column I where I'm going to paste it. So I can paste just formulas, formulas and number formatting. Keep the source formatting, no borders, keep source column widths. I can transpose the data. I can just paste values, so there I have no formatting, values and number formatting, or values and source formatting. So there's lots of options. You can also go into paste special, and this is just a dialog box version of all the options available. So for example, if I don't want any of the formatting and I don't want formulas to come across, I just want the values, I can choose paste values and click OK. So far, we've looked at pasting data to empty cells, but you can also insert pasted data and overwrite cells containing data with the data copied to your clipboard. So let me highlight the English breakfast row here. I'm just going to make it red so we can see more clearly the effect of copying and pasting over the top of data. So I'm going to control C to copy those cells and then I'm going to insert it here on row nine. Right click, insert copied cells. It's going to ask me, do I want to move these cells over to the right or down? I'm going to move them down. So I'll click OK. You can see we now have 13 rows of data and our copied row is inserted at row nine. Likewise, you can do this with cutting. So if I control X 
to cut and then let's insert it at row 7. I can right click insert cut cells. It's effectively moved them round. They've switched position. You can also use your mouse to cut and copy data. I'm going to select the list of products and with the green border I need to get my mouse so that the four headed arrow is on the edge and then I can left click and drag. It shows me where it's going to move it to and I can release and it's effectively cut it from column C to column F. I can do the same with copy. So with the four headed arrow, left click, hold down control, notice the little plus symbol above my mouse pointer. Now I'm copying the data and it's going to paste it in column C. I can also insert copied cells and cut cells. So left click and drag, hold down shift, and notice that now it's shown me that it's going to insert it and it's switched positions. Likewise, I can insert and copy holding down control and shift while I left click and drag. And now I have product in column B and column D. It's messed up my grand total though, so I need to left click and drag that across and now it's in the right position. Now I'm just going to get rid of this extra column and we'll get rid of this data as well. So another way we can copy and paste is with a linked picture. And this is useful if I want to see this data on another sheet, but don't want to maintain two sets of records. For example, let's say I want to see the sales data on another sheet. So I'm just going to select those cells, control C, and then up on the paste drop down, I want to choose either picture or linked picture. Now with a picture, there's no reference back to the original data. So any changes made in the original don't get fed through to the picture. Whereas with the linked picture, any changes will get fed through. So let's choose that. Now you can see it's an object that's sitting on top of my worksheet. If I make a change in this data, it's going to be reflected in my linked picture. So let's change this amount to 600 for lemongrass. And you can see it's now 600 in my linked picture. The downside of linked pictures is they aren't as crisp as the original data. So you can see there it looks a little bit pixely with the figures and some of the text. Similarly, I can copy and paste linked cells. So this one here is paste link. If I press that and let's just make the columns wider. If we look in the formula bar, you can see that every cell here is a reference back to the original data. So any changes that I make in this data will be reflected here. Now this column obviously has the wrong number format. So if we change that to a comma separated, we get the correct values. This row has no data, so let's just format that as general. You can see now it puts in zeros. So you might want to tidy that up and remove those cells. Any changes I make here, will be reflected over here because these are directly linked. Lastly, the clipboard contains a copy history that you can insert into your worksheet. The copied items can come from anywhere on your PC, not just Excel. So to open the clipboard pane, you click on this launch icon for clipboard and it opens in the left hand side. The icon on the left indicates the source of that copied data. You can see on the left here I've got some website links. I was hopping my son with his science homework. To insert something from the clipboard, you simply select the cell you want to put it in and click on it. Or you can click on the drop down, paste, or delete that particular item from the clipboard. If you only have text in the clipboard, as opposed to images and other media, then you can paste all in one go. At the bottom of the clipboard pane, we've got further options that allow you to choose when that clipboard pane is visible. Okay, that completes the cut, copy and paste options. Keep in mind that you can not only copy and paste to and from the same worksheet, but also to other worksheets, other workbooks and other programs open on your PC. So take a few moments to familiarize yourself with the options available, including the paste special dialog box.